we are going to move on to our next sketch. That's right, it's a totally original sketch. It is absolutely in no way a parody of a uh, Christmas Carol. It's definitely not completely original idea, original characters. You're gonna love it. And Marvin Mann was presumed dead to begin with and his old friend, Ebba Sneezer Scroog was finishing up at the office. As usual, Scroog was a beacon of happiness and Christmas spirit. Hello, kind sir. Would you care for a song? I hate music, and no joy boys such as yourself can make me feel otherwise. This season is nothing to celebrate. Damn it all. Away with you, fiend. But, 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 Evan Sneezer, why would anyone say such a tragic and hateful thing? Because it's true. Now get out. And by that, I actually mean that he was a cruel and heartless bitch. I, I, I believe it's closing time, Mr. Scroog. Fine. If it means I don't have to look at your stupid face anymore. But I expect to see it tomorrow. <laughs> but Mr. Mr. Scroog, it's Christmas. Almost no one does business on Christmas. Fine. Whatever. I guess it'll be nice not to see your stupid face for another day. But your ass better be back here the next day, bright and early. Yes, sir. Thank you. Just shut up and close up shop. Scrooge left all the work to Robert Crochet and went home to the sulk, as was his usual daily routine. And as Scrooge settled in his chair, a sudden disturbance disturbed him. Marvin? Marvin, man? No, it can't be. You were abducted by aliens like seven years ago. Indeed. And I have escaped warning you, Scrooge. Aliens are coming back to take Angry's man alive again. And if you don't change your ways, that man will be you this time. I, I don't understand. How did you escape? I was rescued by space wizards. They freed me from the aliens, but, well, we crashed, landed, and... That, that's not a trick of the light, then. You're actually dead. Afraid I am. But anyway, I've come to tell you that you will be visited by three therapists this night. Marvin, I know you've been in space for seven years, but it's Christmas Eve, also night. Therapists and pretty much everyone else don't tend to work right now, or so I've been told. Ah, but they're space wizard therapists. The same ones that crashed your ship, killing you? Yes. Yeah, no thanks. I'm going to bed. But you cannot refuse. I already paid them. How? How could you have possibly paid them? I let them drive the ship. It wasn't their ship? No, it was. Uh, right, look, Marvin, thanks for the warning and all, but I like being angry, so piss off. Win the Val Tools 137, expect the first therapist. What bell? And what bell tolls off the hour? When the bell tolls, one thirty-seven. Stupid Marvin and his stupid, crazy stories. And so Scrooge ignored the crazy dead man and went to bed, which leaves us with this brief pause in our tale. 
while we wait for the 137 bell, allow us to share a song with you. Because unlike Scrooge, the rest of us do like Christmas. And Christmas music! Indeed. We shall see you all soon.